Thank you, Jesus. Okay, praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord, praise the Lord. How you doing? I'm all right, babies. This me, Mama. Mother Gail Trailer in the rock. It's so early in the morning on a Monday, and y'all ain't prepared for it. But don't fight it. I tried to fight it. I was in that bed. I had to. I always clean my sheets once a week, you know. My pillowcases and everything. I try to air out everything. And uh, Lord have mercy. Got in that bed that last night. Didn't want to get out this morning. But the Holy Spirit said, get up. You're still on the battlefield. By the way, my name is Mother Gail Trailer. And if I look a wee bit different, it's early in the morning. Ain't nobody watching me. So don't you even worry about it. Ain't nobody studying this old woman except Jesus. And him crucified. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Boy, oh boy, what a day, what a day, what a day, what a day. Sunday was the day. Sunday was the bomb. I guess I stayed in the house and didn't do too much on Saturday for a reason, because Sunday was the bomb, man, the bomb. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, by the way. It is not February, okay? Forgive me. It is September 19, 2022. I, nobody tell me I ain't slipping. I ain't slipping in that direction in the name of Jesus. I know what day it is. I know what month it is. Sometimes I don't do. Sometimes I be flipping the, flapping the gums. I forget the date, man. That's because I got so much on my mind, baby. So much on my mind. Come on, y'all. Let's pray. My name is Mother Gail Trailer. And just in case you don't get a chance to pray. Okay, another reason why. The title of my little um, vignette here is called Why We Can't Be Bougie. I, if you look like me, you can't be bougie because bougie people don't look like this. Okay? I... That's the way it is. Bougie people do not look like this. Y'all know y'all wake up smelling sweet, fine, and fine as frog's head. Y'all wake up. Uh, your hair's done. Your teeth, you ain't, no, you got them implants, so I ain't, you know, I ain't starting that. Y'all know y'all, y'all got it. Uh, y'all got so many servants that you can send your servant to say prayers for you. That's how you got That's bougie people. Let me stop. I could be nasty, can I? That's why mother got to pray. She ain't right. But after I pray, then I get to right. God puts a, a good heart, you know? That's what we do. That's why it's impossible for us to uh, be bougie. Bougie people pray themselves. They don't send nobody to pray for them. They don't ask pastor to pray for them. They don't ask mother in the church to pray for them. They pray. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't be bougie. You just can't. Come on, let's pray. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father God, for this 19th day of September. The year is 2022. It's going to be hot out there today, Lord. Father God, help us. Help us, Lord. Strengthen us. Guide us, use us, fill us with the Holy Spirit. Sanctify us by your love, by your power. Lord, help us to love. Help us to go, Lord Jesus, and do and keep our commitments to our jobs, to our families. Lord, those who are heads, bless them this morning. Heads of homes, mothers, fathers, even children are sometimes heads of homes. Lord, heads on jobs. Lord, bless them. Father God, direct their steps. Lord, bless Lord Jesus, the fatherless, those in foster care, those in the 
military law, those in mental ill institutions, those who are on their beds of affliction, Lord, those who have uh, had heart attacks, strokes in the night, those who have had trauma, difficulties of every kind, Lord, those who are feeble, Father God, the homeless, those on the battlefield, Lord, you know what to do, cover them with the blood. Father God, and as for us, Lord, sanctify us holy through your word. Bind fear in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, saints. My name is Mother Gail Trailer. It's just in case time, just in case you don't get a chance to read that word. Girl, I ain't going to keep you long. Man, I ain't going to keep you long. Hallelujah. But I got some gossip from heaven. From heaven. From the gates. From the portals of the shore. Well, child, I haven't been able to get out of this dang 73rd Psalm. I want to get out of it. I like fresh fire. So tell me something new, you know. But uh, shucks, he, he, you know, I keep digging in the one the, the, the in, not only the whole chapter, but the, this 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 last, uh, what the last six verses keep gnawing at me, you know. I used to, uh, yes, I went to uh, uh um. Olivet Baptist and uh, Pastor Adams invited us all back to Abba. Uh, Abba. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Abba House. Something. Abba. Anyway, it's a uh, big, beautiful <laughs> church. <laughs> big, beautiful. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I remember there young pastor coming to Olivet uh, when I was a member. Um, praise God. Then I went to uh, Abba House. It's called Abba House, I think. Daddy's House. <laughs> Daddy's House. Well, baby, Daddy was there. <laughs> dang. Y'all forgive this toothless grin, but dang, I don't give up. Slipped this morning. I, I, you had to be me. <laughs> That's all I could say. And you had to be there. And if you wasn't at the house last night, I'm sorry for you. That's all I, I, you know, I, I'm not going to tell you that I, uh, that I feel guilty. Because I don't. I don't. I mean to praise God everywhere I go. And if the Lord calls me, I'm a follow. Child, please. I, I skipped my, uh, I did go to my North Georgia Worship Center. That's where my motor got revved up. We had baptism, yeah. Honey, we had baptism. We had baptism. I participated and helped out. Thank you, Jesus. I praise God for the family of God, the body of Christ. Praise God, hallelujah, for the victory, 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 victory. And uh, I went on back home. I had stopped by. In between the services, I stopped by Tiptonia. I wanted to leave a little message for Lady Laura. And... Uh, it was just good just to step inside the house. The service hadn't started. It was too early. But I stepped in and left a message and uh, saw my lady Laura and the babies and uh, young Pastor Brandon. Then I went on home. But I did. Yeah, I went on to North Georgia. North Georgia hung out with me, and I hung out with them. We had baptism. By the way, Tip Tony had baptism yesterday. We had uh, 10 candidates for baptism. Okay, that's a praise report. And uh, praise God for Joshua's message. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the what the Spirit is doing in North Georgia Worship Center. There's teachers and there's preachers and there's trustees and there's ministerial duties being performed in Pastor Nick's absence. But under the Spirit of Christ as the Lord moves. Thank you, Jesus. So Pastor Nick's daughter yesterday. I was glad to see her. And of course, uh, Lady Deborah Roche, Minister Deborah Roche was there. Yes, you're going through, baby. You're going through, you can look at it and tell. But that's it. She taking Jesus on the way on through. She's walking with him. Okay? That's what keeps her on her feet. I asked her, did she have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich this week? <laughs> Because I'm always concerned about nourishment in the body. But God has taken her through. Thank you, Lord. Baby, you think you know something about living? Go through grief. And it affects everybody differently. Go through the grieving process. It takes approximately, they say, psychiatrists, say it takes approximately two years to get over grief. Grieving. Mm -hmm. You can grieve over a lot of things. Grieve over loss of uh, materials, loss of a... Uh, uh, Let's see, loss of a job, loss of a friendship, but uh, you know what a humdinger is? When you lose somebody that was within the domains of your life, inside your house, you live with them day and night. You become one, you know, you take on, you know, their spirit, they take on yours how you survive as husbands and wives and uh, praise God grieving is something else but honey there's a reward at the end I have never lost a child thank you Jesus but I know those who have and uh, there's a strength in them that is hmm what is it it's a specified strength but only certain women certain men Specified, they got something in them. They got something in them afterwards, you know. So anyway, uh, getting off of that. Okay, why we can't be bougie? I'll tell you why. Because I used to be like David. David said uh, in the 73rd um, Psalms that... Um, He says, he talks about how good God is, right? But he talks as a man who had gone to church all his life and become accustomed to what he saw. And he wanted to be like them. David wanted to be like them. He wanted to dress like them. He wanted to look like them. He wanted to fit in. And that's normal. David wanted in so badly that he became envious of those he saw, those who had this, that, and the other. You ever get envious of neighbors and friends? Tell the truth. Ain't nobody got to hear you. Ain't nobody got to see you. And I sure won't tell on you. You ever been envious? Because I'm going to tell on me. Oh, yeah. It'll, if it'll get me clean, bring me closer to Christ. It's something that the devil don't want you to uh, say. That you're envious of your neighbor. Or envious of uh, those who uh, look like they got it all. Those who handle life differently because they have been 
maybe got a little bit more than you do. Maybe they don't. But look like they do. Always the grass is green on the other side. Always. So David in Psalm 73 talks about this thing. He said um, in verse 2, he says, But as for me, my feet, feet had almost uh, gone. My feet were almost gone. My feet almost came out from underneath me. My steps had well not slipped. I didn't know I was envious of them and trying to look like them. I didn't know I was, you know, buying and, and, and being greedy and just so for the outer man, for the outer look, you know, just that look. And I had, you know, I had enough to be bougie with, David said. I had enough, you know. Um, I just looked at them and they looked like they had more. Okay. My foot, in, my, I almost lost my mind. When you fall, you do lose your mind for a minute. Well, how you didn't lose your mind? Well, you fell, didn't you? <laughs> Something happened up there. Because from what I'm told, this keeps this straight up. You know what I mean? Your foot almost slipped. Y'all lost your mind. Dad going near David said he almost lost his mind. He said, I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Yeah, but I, I went to I went to Abba House and I was in the midst of the haves and the have nots. There hey, it was divided. I don't get which way you look at it, it was divided. Black, white, everybody was at Abba House. Spanish. Hinduish, anything, old, young. Huh, huh, huh. Hey, 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 hey. Everything at Alba House. Praising God. Shucks. Anyway, I won't keep you. But I, this is this is a little extensive this morning. I went to Alba House last night, boy. Hey, the holy was there, the sanctified, the rich, the poor. The girls, the boys, the men, the women, everything. Hmm. Babies was there. I heard knew some baby crying out in Jesus' name. Huh. Shucks. I saw Lady Newsom. Lady Newsom. That's what I say. But she did as pretty as she wanna be. So uh David went into the house of, of God, went into the father's house. And he saw all these people prospering. He wanted, you know, dang. That's what he used to see. He would go and went there all the time. Same church. But he was envious. Everybody had this and they had that. But then he noticed some stuff about them. Because he had to, he might have stayed away a while from the place. And then, you know, had, well, something happened before COVID to me. Something happened. And I was this man, this David. I was this Hayata. I was this person. In being people who looked like they had it together. But they were they had pride. They, 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 it says, uh, verse seven, that uh, therefore pride compasseth them as with a chain. And then it says violence. Uh, violence covered them as a garment. Are they ready to tell you off? Yeah, they were ready to tell you off. The secondhand words all lined up that they was going to tell you. You know. They, they a little mean, them bougie folks, before COVID. Okay? They had some, some, they had pride. Yeah. They was greedy. 
Um, they had everything the heart could wish. That's what it said in the, in the seventh verse. David said they was corrupt. They spoke wickedly. Eighth verse. Uh, ninth verse said they set their mouth against the heavens. Yeah, they set their mouth against the heavens. And uh, David said the place, the church that he went to, uh, they did what they wanted to do. <laughs> They was, they was cute, though. They was, they was bougie. <laughs> they said, uh, how does God know? I say what I want to say. Do what I want to do. God don't know. He know my heart. Okay, that's what they, David, you know, this is what he, this is what he ran with. This is what he envied. The bougie people. I'm describing them. They're ungodly. Okay, it says in 12 verse, they prosper in the world and they, they increase in riches. Like I said, I went to Abba House too last night. I saw those that prosper in the world. I saw those, uh, some pol political figures. They sat on one end of the auditorium. All of it sat in the middle. All around with different churches. That's all I can say. That's what I, that's what I gather. Okay, and... Uh, Man, they look prosperous. Them, them rich people on the left side of me, they look prosperous. But you know what, baby? Let me tell you, they were bound. They were bound in chains. They was bougie. They was bougie, 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 bougie. Then I saw uh, my posse. They some of them was a little bound in chains too, you know, bound in titles, bound in their cuteness, their physical, you know, bound, just bound, looking good. These are the people that I admired before COVID. Something happened. Some on the other side, some, I mean, everybody, Abba House, everybody mixed up. Everybody, blacks, whites, everybody mixed up in the same assembly. These are the people that David, in his day, these are the people that he ran with. He, he had a, a group, okay? He said, on the 17th verse, until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest cast them down into destruction. Some of these people that sit up in the church who are, what? You know, they just overbearing and they're, they're haughty, they're rude, they're arrogant, they're prideful. They're ungodly. I asked a man uh, coming out of service the other day. I said, I see you tonight at Abba, at Abba House. Oh, no, he said. I'm going to the movies. I said, like, but remember, I said, you ain't old school like me, huh? The Bible said, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. He said, but mama ain't here. Hmm. And I said, yeah, you're right. I'm wearing a red cloak and mama didn't like me in red. But, uh, hmm. He said it as if he was doing God a favor. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. I'm old school child. And Sunday is Sunday. All day long. And uh, wouldn't be a time back in the day you'd talk and speak of going to the movies on a Sunday? Are you crazy? You just smeared onion all over your face. That that said something about the man. He said, at least I go on in the morning. Well, we aren't doing God a favor, are we, by going to church at all? Oh, you think you're doing God a favor? Child, you doing you a favor. Doing you a favor. 
Some of y'all after COVID, y'all got the same mind. How that happen? Political figures still greedy. Uh, uh, those who got money, they stuck in pride, won't move because they too cute. They too cute. They too dignified. Too ho too. They ain't. They too haughty. They just go to church because it's a good thing to do. Oh, I, I don't praise him like that. I do. You're bound by chains, and the Bible says so. And 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 us black uh, uh, people, man, you got something to praise God for? You crazy? Y'all dare to come to church? Y'all take the chance? Oh, I ain't bringing no Bible. <laughs> Suppose the electric machine go out. What you got to read? It's good to hear the man of God, but maybe he make a mistake on something. It's nice to have your sword in your hand. Pastor pulled out a sword uh, yesterday at service. That's when I left. I said, oh, the, the theatrics. Okay. I will not see. I know what he's going to do. He's going to knight him with this sword. I bet it was beautiful. And that man deserves it. Those are man's accolades. But baby, after COVID, we better get real because of this here scripture right here, and I'm going too far over. Okay? I got down to the end of the bougie uh, uh, program. I got down at the end of what David says was the bougie character. Okay? What hit my body and my mind, and it hit the, it hit the body too, with the body like, eh, eh. Can't happen to me, can't. Nah, nah. I still got years to go. I said 106, and I mean, yeah, the blood of Jesus. My arm been aching <laughs> on and off. Child, you know what that tell me? That the flesh of mine is failing, boo boo. You ain't got no aches and pains yet. Or you keep taking the lead so you don't feel nothing. I. That'll mess your kidneys up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch that. Okay. Pastor said yesterday, he said, by his stripes we're healed. He didn't mean it over in glory. He said something about, um, we going to, you know, get those leaves from the tree of healing. You ain't going to need no healing over yonder. We need healing here. By his stripes we're healed. By his stripes, we're healed. Okay? In the name of Jesus. Could you imagine? I need my body. You need your body. I got things to do. You got things to do. By his stripes, you're healed. Don't lean on the doctor. Because he can cut you up. But he can't guarantee healing. He can give you some pills, make you think you're healed. By his stripes. God made this here. God made this here, but let's not get on the body. All right? He said, this is the scripture that hit me. He said, David said, so foolish was I and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. I was crazy, thinking that the bougie way is the way to do it. Before COVID, this is how I thought. This is how I thought. I thought like I. I was bougie, boo-boo. Just what you see on the outside. Lusa inside was prospering a little bit. But uh, baby, 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 after COVID took my baby home and, and, and what I went through, Okay, I found out something. God's real. He's real. And it would behoove us to draw near to him, okay, for everything we need. We better claim it. We better stand on it. Bougie? Ooh. <laughs> Who, you? <laughs> Not me. You know why? Why you can't afford to be bougie? 
It says, and it says, uh, David says, so foolish was I and arrogant. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I'm continually with thee. Thou is holding me by my right hand. You've been holding me up, Lord. Okay. Not only that, thou shalt guide me with thy counsel and afterward receive me to glory. I'm being led. I came through COVID with the Lord came and brought me through. A lot of people didn't go through it. You forget how soon we forget how soon we walking around in this wilderness, never getting to the promised land where God promised us because we are uh, uh, bougie. Don't take me 40 years. Lord took me longer than 40 years to get here. Ain't that something? I'm 69. I've been saved 16 since 16. I mean, that's when I accepted the Lord. Let's just take away 69 from 16. How many years I wasted being disobedient and bougie? Ah, only 53 years. See, I don't feel so, too, too uh, bad about, you know, I'm poor those Israelites, they were so ignorant. But what about you? What about me? How long is it taking you to realize all this other stuff ain't about nothing? That political, that that you so cute, you so foxy, you so fly, you so got your hairs and your skin and everything. Your dresses is nice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I kissed the best of them yesterday. Hugged them. I mean, I shook the hand, but after a while, I moved up a little bit. I wanted, shoot, I wanted to hug people. Bump that. Bump that. Bump that. I'm going to hug you. I'm going to hug her. I don't care what. Let me get off this because I got to go to work. And it's 643, and I ain't walked yet. Dear God, in the name of Jesus, we can't afford to be bougie. Because after a while, he going to guide. Uh, he going to because right now he's guiding us with his counsel. And then afterward, he's going to receive us to glory. He's guiding us with his counsel. I need to hear where he guided me. I need to see where he guided me. You know, it's in the word, the blind should lead the blind. I don't need uh, uh, the blind person leading me. I can be do bad by myself. I tried it. That's how I know. Well, I know I talk too much, but uh, you can't afford to be bougie, boo. Can't, not now. The real deal is happening now, boo. Man, that fear is real, that depression is real, that man. And listen, let me tell you something about you. When you go to the altar, if you go up in the front, you men, you, you women, go on up there. You might have had a lot of courage while you was in church, but you kind of peedled out when you got out of church. Everything was just, you think it was lost. It wasn't lost. God heard you. God know your desire. You got victory, boo-boo. Them people at the altar at North Georgia Worship Center, y'all got victory. Ain't going to be when you won it, but you're going to learn something after this. You took it to the altar. You laid it at its feet. And you may take it up again. You may make that mistake of wasting your time taking it up, worrying about it. But do you not know God hears our cry? He answers prayer. Okay? Ain't nobody was in no rush to get up from the altar at North Georgia Worship Center. Ain't nobody was in no rush to get up off from the altar at Abba House. Ain't nobody. We could have stayed there all night. Yes, sir. If I'm lying, you I'm telling a lie. And the lie is not in me. In the name of Jesus, I am not lying. You had to be there. And if you wasn't, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Perhaps. Okay. Also, uh, North Georgia Worship is going to Dade County to the high school. And we're going to have a prayer Sunday night at Day High School. 
Dade, uh, I think at Dade County High School, up in uh, Jasper. And uh, we have a service. Y'all be there. Go on up to Jasper. Go on. We done prayed all them spooks out of there. Come on. <laughs> and when I say spooks, I do mean the devil himself. Satan's kingdom has got to come down. And it's rolling and rumbling and shaking. And them dry bones is coming alive. It's revival, boo-boo. It's revival. And it's falling out like rain. My name is Mother Gail Trailer. And God bless you and keep you. I'm just passing through.